A week before the Battle of Honey Hill, Durst Nickelback, a sergeant in the 3rd Georgia Volunteers, wrote home to his wife in Chattahoochee. July the 10th, 1863, Boyd's Neck, South Carolina. Dear Abigail, it has been imparted to us, the men and I, that tomorrow we will begin our movement to the battlefield where I will surely be shot dead, likely in the face, through no fault but my own unyielding incompetence and lackluster training. And so it is with my impending near certain death upon the horizon that I am urged to transcribe my previously unshared feelings for your company through the use of the few words I have managed to remember the spellings of. Abigail, your presence in my squandered life was not entirely unpleasant. My fondness for certain of your lesser infuriating traits is well documented particularly your adventurous fornicational nature. And it is the impending movement of our battalion that draws my mind invariably home to gentler thoughts of past movements shared in our own myrtle bed. The quiet times that we had shared, when we had given our son, whose name escapes me at the moment, the precise dose of mercury needed to quell his ceaseless shrieks long enough for me to stand astride your torso and loose heaping volleys of bow waste upon your quivering bosom. It is these memories of darkened, stench-filled nights of love that will carry me to my gruesome end with the warmth of a fresh, unfurled turd in my heart. The atrocity that I have seen on this campaign has solidified my resolve that this bloody conflict must be won by the more just and righteous men. You will scarcely believe what these vile northern aggressors call the act which we lovingly know as the Savannah Scarf. The depraved Yankees insist on referring to it as a Chesapeake neck warmer. My sweet, plain Abigail, I fully understand exactly what it is that we are fighting this bloody conflict for now. Do know, my acceptable Abigail, that if a man can return to this furtive earth upon passing his mortal bounds, I will in fact do so, and haunt your remaining days to the point of gibbering madness. So, Abigail, Grieve not over my almost certain grisly demise. Imagine me merely away and wait for me. Your face ever my toilet seat, for we shall meet again. Postscript. Abigail, upon completion of your reading of this correspondence, I request that you cross out your name, replace it with that of our slave girl Polly, and hand deliver it to her, as many of these sentiments herein apply equally to her. Miraculously, Durst Nickelback became the hero of the Battle of Honey Hill and survived to return home to see his wife again, who promptly shot him on the porch. <laughs> I'm a